Hey everybody, Rena Mukhtim here, and today I want to talk to you about my biggest pet peeve. I think it is the biggest mistake that women have been conditioned to do all the time, and that is play nice and be kind all the time. You know, we are so taught to get along with everybody and play nice in the sandbox and, you know, hold our tongue, you know, just suck it up, buttercup. No, no, no. And guys are conditioned totally different. And so when we are dishonest with ourselves right we get that pit in our stomach we get the lump in the throat and we don't do anything about it it really hurts us it hurts us physically and not only that it hurts us everywhere else because we are known for being inauthentic because eventually everyone is going to find out that we didn't like that idea or something was upsetting us and we did not speak up. So the biggest thing that I can tell you today is be 100% honest. Sometimes that means you know, you're stepping on toes or upsetting people. I'm not telling you start stepping on toes, start upsetting people, but it's better to let someone know where a boundary is before it gets too far. Because when someone is pushing our limits or taking away our rights and we do not protest and we do not protest loud enough, it's a signal to them that what their behavior is is okay. And then it continues and it escalates and it escalates. So it's really important to put our foot down and let people know where we feel. When I was a brand new engineer, uh, I was asked to do data for other engineers and being fresh out of school and not really knowing what I did, uh, what I was doing, I just did data for other engineers. And then I was blessed to have a mentor and start a business. And they told me, you know what, you need to learn to sell yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to tell people what you've done and how great you are because if I didn't do it, no one else would have for me. And at that point, I had been an engineer for two years and they were right. No one had noticed what I had done. I had been doing so much work in the background but no one noticed so what I started doing was I still did all the data and the charts but I would put the logo and my name at the bottom of each one of those charts and all of a sudden I started getting promotions and I started getting noticed it's not that anything changed it's just people realized that I was the one doing work not just the person presenting it so so important to learn to advocate with yourself and there were so many times my kids had a conflict at school I did not call and talk to the teacher. I did not go and talk to the other parents. I wanted my kids to learn how to advocate for themselves. That is the biggest thing that they could do, is learn to go up to a teacher and say, I don't think this grade is fair. This is why I think I should get something. And you might be saying, well, what, you, you had an eight-year-old go up to an adult teacher and tell him that? Yes, I told the eight-year-old. You know, what do you think about the paper, how it was graded, what do you think is wrong with it? Tomorrow, what are you going to say to the teacher? And we would practice it. We would practice it. And same with a seventh grader and same with someone in high school. It's so important for kids to learn to advocate for themselves and realize that their voice matters. We were created at this time, put in this place for a reason to share our perspective with the world. And so when we keep quiet and play small and hold back, we're not living our full potential and we're not helping the planet. So speak up and tell the truth, the full truth, 100% of the time. And you know what? If someone gets upset, and I'll tell you right now, someone will get upset, that's their problem, not yours. You need to be authentic to you. Thanks so much.